Yo, what's up everybody? Back with another video. Welcome back to our series on the 100 most amazing places to stay in the world. In this second part, we're diving into another 10 incredible spots that you won't believe exist. So buckle up, smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm, and let's get this show on the road. First up, we're heading to Italy, but forget Rome, forget Venice, we're going to Matera. Sextantio Le Grotte della Civita, a hotel built into ancient caves, renovated into super chic minimalist suites. Imagine waking up in a cave, sunlight streaming in, birds chirping. It's the perfect mix of rustic and luxurious. Experience history firsthand with a killer espresso. Next stop, Chile. We're spending the night in a volcano. The Montaña Magica Lodge is a hotel shaped like a giant volcano, nestled in the Huilo Huilo Biosphere Reserve. Imagine waterfalls, lush greenery, and chilling in your room, living your best life. The area is known for its incredible biodiversity, so you might spot some rare wildlife. Let's jump over to Spain, to the land of wine and futuristic architecture. The Hotel Marquet de Riscal looks like something out of a sci-fi movie. It's all titanium, curves and crazy angles, designed by Frank Gehry. And the best part? It's in the middle of wine country. Spend your days sipping wine, then retire to your spaceship-like room. Alright, back to the US of A, but you won't find any apple pie or baseball here. This is Amangiri a super exclusive resort hidden away in the Utah desert. It's like they dropped a five-star hotel right in the middle of nowhere. Imagine waking up, looking out your floor-to-ceiling windows, and seeing nothing but miles and miles of untouched desert. It's the perfect place to disconnect, recharge, and maybe do some soul-searching. All right, guys, buckle up because this next one is wild. We're headed to Bolivia, to the Salar de Uyuni, the world's largest salt flat. And what better place to stay than a hotel made entirely of salt? It's called the Palacio de Sal, and it's basically a giant salt lick for humans. Next stop, Florida. But forget Disney World, we're going underwater. Jules's Undersea Lodge is a hotel submerged 30 feet below the surface of the ocean. You have to scuba dive to get there. Talk about an entrance. Once you're down there, it's like entering another world. They even have a pizza delivery service that sends divers down with your order. Let's head over to Amsterdam now. But forget the canals and coffee shops. We're staying in a crane. The Crane Hotel Feralda is exactly what it sounds like. A luxury hotel built inside a former port crane. Panoramic city views, a rooftop jacuzzi, and a bungee jumping platform. For a unique and unforgettable experience, this is it. Back to the US, and we're getting back to nature. Forget tents and sleeping bags, we're spending the night in a cave. Cocapelli's Cave is a hotel built into a cliff in New Mexico. It's a luxury cave dwelling with a hot tub, fireplace, and stunning views the perfect place to disconnect and enjoy the peace and quiet of nature. All right guys, bundle up because we're heading north, way north, to Svalbard, Norway, home to the northernmost hotel in the world, the Long Year Be In Guest House. This place is so far north, you can see the northern lights from your window. Plus, you're surrounded by incredible Arctic landscapes, so you can spend your days exploring glaciers, fjords, and maybe even spot a polar bear or two. Last but not least, we're heading to France, but forget Paris and the Eiffel Tower, we're going glamping. A Trap Revs is a collection of transparent bubble pods nestled in the forest near Marseille. These pods are basically like giant bubbles, so you can sleep under the stars without, you know, actually sleeping outside. It's like camping, but way more glamorous. 
That's it for part two of our series on the 100 most amazing places to stay in the world. We've seen some incredible places today, from caves in Italy to underwater hotels in Florida. Like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss part three. Until next time, peace out.